Okay, so hi guys, this is Danica, and it's been a while since my last video. So, Typhoon Odette hit my area and been affected um, very bad, so I had no power for almost a month. So, that's the reason why I just uploaded um, a new video today but still very thankful because um we are all safe and power is back again so yep still thankful so in this video i just want to record this what i'm doing so this is a mailchimp email so Airbag men um, contacted me because they need some custom email template and they're using MailChimp. Now, they provided some um, PSD designs. So it's this one. So they have three, as you can see. So they have for their latest videos. And then they also have four pricing list update and some product update. So they have three templates and this is one of that. I'm going to show you that in a sec. But I want to let you know that they provided this design. Um, and then this is what we're going to build. Now I'm not going to go through in this video the complete steps. But if you have any question, let me know so that I could create another tutorial based on your questions. So before we start, let's just quickly check this um, design so as you can see they have this header and then they want to be able to change this image if they need to and of course this thumbnail as well and then this is going to be a headline um, tight, um, headline sub headline and then a text and then this is a footer image that they also want to be able to change if they need to and then some copyright text so here is I think template one um, this is for the product update um, it's sim the three lay layout is kind of similar but they have different sections For example in this template one the headline and subheadline is at the top and then the text and then they have an image where they want to be able to replace if they need to a learn more button and then an image about that product and then a generic footer so that's the design now before we get started i'm using um, MJML for this um, template and when you're using MJ, MJML it's like a bootstrap they give you this guide so I suggest you um, check out their um, documentation because this helped me I also watch um, a channel from Claire where she walks through how she built um, MailChimp template that also helped but if you're very familiar with Bootstrap it's kind of similar you have this guide so that you don't need to do like everything from the top you just need to make sure it is um, the framework that you're using so I'm just gonna I know this is gonna look a bit um, too much maybe but as you can see um, I have different 
template here so template one two and three and then I also have a footer and I have this mjml file so what you do is you build your de your design and mjml and then you run the build um, script and that will convert this code um, into uh, HTML template which is email friendly as you can see we have a very long um, code here but in the MJML we only have around 71 but this is what the email server or the email template needs now when you are complete with your building you, you can't just paste this right away um, you need to copy and paste this and in my case I'm, I'm building this for MailTrim you need to copy and paste your HTML file to this MailTrim design reference just to make sure it's clean and there's nothing that MailChimp doesn't want it's gonna convert that to more email friendly version and basically this is the code that you will use in your MailChimp template now if we go here email templates so these are the designs that we have so template 1, 2 and 3 if we preview this, so template 1, so as you can see, this is the desktop. So we have the headline, subheadline, text, image, button, and social media icons, footer. Um, MJML, by default, it's already responsive. So that's the great thing about it. It is mobile first. So if it thinks it needs to shrink some spacing for your mobile um, and make some columns into one column only, it's going to do that automatically, as you can see. But you can override things if you need to. But it's going to do the hard things for you. So, example, so that's M, uh, template 1, and this is template 2, so they have some price update, and then they want this, and then this is the template 3, where they have some videos. Now let's just say they're going to use template 3 because they have a new video. All they need to do is create a campaign from that um, template. And then in here, since it's already have this template, um, what they need to do is replace the images with their new content. So let's say they have a new image with this shade you just need to replace this pick from their um, media library and then they can use it in there they can also put some link um, alt text check the settings and so on if they need to and then this one um, this should be linked to YouTube so they could add a link in there replace the thumbnail and so on this one is editable, so they could say it, um, um, adventures, let's just say, as you can see, you can put it that way, and then they can also update this to whatever they need this to, and as well as the text in here. They can make this, like, that way they need to add a link and so on and then they can also replace this image if they need to change the follow us if they need to um, the icons I leave it 
um, uneditable because just to prevent any um, unwanted edits on the links but they can change this and they can change this so that's a great thing about MailChimp it allows you to design this kind of custom design emails you can also check the preview in here so um what else i could um show you let me just check the code so if we're gonna go to the mjml um file if you're familiar uh first of all you need to be familiar with css and html if you want to build this um but mjml documentation is very helpful example i needed to embed uh, google font so they have that in here they have that instruction and in how to do it so you're not lost um, mailchimp has some recommended font this is their list so i picked lato for this template they also have some articles for what html code to use what they want and don't want and then this um, css inliner tool you really need this then you can also customize your email template using this merge tags that they provide so again if you have any question let me know this is um, just a short video um, I just want to show you how great MJML is especially for MailChimp or for other email um, host or manager that allows you to create email template so if you're in MailChimp you click email templates you can create a new template and then in here it's gonna ask you whether you choose from their existing design or you code your own and then you paste that code here so example I'm just gonna call this test but if I click this save so they give you this um, example and you can see all the codes in here so this gives you an idea how each section works but to save some time you don't need to do all of this I recommend you check out and use MJML it's gonna give or make your building process much easier and it's already mobile responsive which is great so that's it I'm gonna record more videos because I have some topics that I want to cover for WordPress membership sites and other um, CRM tools that I'm using for my clients but for this one, I hope this helps and gives you an idea how great MailChimp template builder is. As long as you use tools like MJML, it, there's no like limitation in your design. You could make it as custom as you need to with their guides. Um, it will make sure that your email design will work in Gmail, Outlook, or Yahoo. I already tested my design and so far it's looking good. So, yep. If you have any questions, just comment down below and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!